So now for us to get the 720 degree peplum, we have to do a little calculation and we need the half length of the dress. If you're attaching this peplum to a dress, you need the half length of the dress and the full length. If you are not attaching it, go ahead and measure just the length of that peplum. Okay. Now, 720 degree peplum is 360 plus 360, and that will give you 720. That means you are working with two cycle. And as I'm working with reversible peplum, I need two cycle for each side. That means I'm going to cut four cycles. Okay. Now, we also need our waist measurement, and my waist measurement is 30. And I'm going to divide it by 2. That is 30 divided by 2. And that will give me 15. I will need this 15 to calculate the radius of this cycle. Okay? Now, the formula to get the radius is R is equal to C over 6.28. Just know this formula and it's very easy. Just grab it. Just clamp it. It's very easy. For you to get your radius is C over 6.28. Now, for me to get my own radius, I want to say R is equal to C is half of my waist measurement. That is 15 over 6.2. And that will give me 2.39. Okay? That's the only thing you need for you to get your radius. Just divide your waist by 2. Whatever it gives you, put it and divide by 6.28. Now, for me to get the length of my peplum, it will not be full length of that dress minus the half length. And that will give me 25 minus 16. And that is nine inches okay now the length of this paper i'm working with is nine inches now for me to put my material on fold i need to plus this nine inches plus this radius and that will give me 11.39 this 11.39 is what i'm using to put my material on fold okay nine inches is the length of my paper and 2.39 is my radius okay go ahead and do your own calculation whatever value it gives you is what you are going to use okay so now the next thing i'll do is to fold this material like i said i'm going to use this last value to put it on fold so now i'll add extra one inch to make it 12.39 so i'll just approximate it to 12.5 and that is what i'll be using to put it on fold so from here i'll measure 12.5 to this end and then I will, from there, fold it just like so, this way. And again, from this other side, I will measure 12.5 here. And also from there, I will fold it towards the other side. And that is all for the folding. Now it's on four fold. We are folded into two four. Now to cut the radius of that cycle, I will use my radius 2.39. And that is what I'm measuring from this side, from this folded side. I'll measure 2.39 all through. And after then, I'll just curve it. Then from this radius side that I just measured, I'm going to take the length of the peplum. And the length of the peplum is 9 inches. I'll now add extra 1 inch, making it 10 inches for sewing allowance. When you're measuring this side, you have to be very careful so that everything will be equal. Else your peplum will be shapeless. So now after that, I will just use the scissors to trim it. So after cutting it, this is what I have. Okay. And this is just one cycle. That is 360. I'm going, I need two to make it 720. Then I'm working on reversible paper. I need two for each. And this is one. I'll use this black plain material to cut the second one. Okay. And this is for the back. Also need this to cut the second one. So I need two for this and two for this. So now I'm done cutting it. You can see. I have 720-ish for the peplum. This is 720, and this other one is 720 for front and back. So now I use scissors to open up each of the side, one side for each of them. I'll open it up. Now, after opening it up, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and put my paper stay on each of them. So after putting the paper stay, this is what I have. So now, each, for each of them is still 360 degree. So I'll go ahead and join them, the two. For this two, I'll join it this way to make it 720 degree. And this one also for the front side. I'll join it this way to make it 720 degree. Now I'm done joining my 
peplum guys and this is what you call 720 degree peplum it's already 720 so because i'm working on reversible peplum i need two 720 and 720 now i want my peplum to be a little bit curvy at the front so i'll just measure three inches from this side then i'll curve it this way and then use scissors to trim it and that will make it a little bit curvy as after then this is what i have so i'll go ahead and stitch it around all through to the other end stitch it around like this now i'm done stitching it and this is what i have so for me to turn it over to the right side and iron it i'll have to give it a notch just like this and i'll do that till the next other end you have to be careful not to cut the thread this is how i'll give it a notch till the other end just like that and when i'm done i'll go ahead and give it a good ironing <music> So guys, I'm done notching it and I also went ahead to turn it over to the right side and ironed it. And this is how it's looking. This is one side of the peplum and when it's being reversed, this is how the other side is looking like. And this is what is called a reversible peplum and it's now ready to be attached on a dress. If you are not attaching it on the dress, you can just put your band and use it like that. But I'll be attaching this one to a dress. So please, if you watched till this end, thank you very much. Help me subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on your notification button. So when I post a video where I attach this peplum, you will get notified. Thank you very much, and remember to drop your comments.